All right, I hate to do this kind of video. I really thought about a thousand times before doing it, but I have to, because it's been on my mind for at least at least a year, some months more, um, recently even more. The thing is, first of all, I'd like to thank all the subscribers who have watched the channel regularly and interacted. Um, you guys are the reason why I continue doing these things. And the thing is, I feel like I made a huge mistake with trying to expand the channel. And this is just a symptom of a greater issue. The thing is, I love doing the gardening videos. They were the reason why I started. And I still love to do them. And I love to still watch them. So I, I feel like... The videos I put out are things that I'm interested in seeing, that I'll be interested in seeing 20 years from now. Not just, I guess, it will be for a personal reason, obviously. But um, I always try to bring out the story, the narrative in it, and bring in a type of standard that will keep the, the viewer in, enthralled or engaged. Now, I understand that my audience is not everyone and I'm fully aware of that that it's for a s certain type of people but I think the way I'm doing the videos I do them so that I can hopefully inspire people and I've seen the results through comments and emails and those things motivate me to keep doing it however it seems like I'm fighting a battle an uphill battle um, with YouTube, the way the algorithm works. And it's not anybody's specific fault, obviously. Um, it's the system, it's how it is. And especially after I watched two videos, the one from Veritasium where he explains how YouTube is currently biased against quality, and he goes through it, and it really resonated to the things I had felt in my channel. And also, the other video was, I think, Game Theory, where they explained the pitfalls of the algorithm and how they're, they make videos be popular according to little um, idiosyncrasies or just happenstance. You, you get certain kinds of videos that perhaps even people wouldn't necessarily watch them, but because the wave forms, that's how it is. Now I'm just I'm not just complaining. Oh, I don't get enough um, exposure. Although I do feel like that. I'm gonna be honest. I think that up to this point I should have gardened at least garnered at least I would say double the amount of subscribers I've garnered. But the thing that really gets to me because I'm not necessarily going after a huge audience. I personally am a hopeless introvert. I don't. I'm not somebody who seeks attention necessarily, although everybody does. The thing is, it feels like I put so much effort in them and they stagnate. They're, the people, you guys, who are the faithful watchers, um, which is a minority of my subscribers, you guys are always watching them and you appreciate them and th that's the reason why I continue doing them. But the algorithm li limits the amount of exposure it shows to even my other subscribers and this is everybody on YouTube is complaining about this so I understand that um, but the thing is what really gets to me is that making quality videos is not rewarded you're rewarded for doing quantity over quality and it's only getting worse. It was already bad, I guess, in 2013 when I started, although it was better still. Evergreen videos, which are the videos that have, they don't, they're not like time sensitive, they're not about trending topics, they're about things that people will want to reference forever, basically. Those videos, they end up not getting as much exposure now because of the way the algorithm is set up. Now, when I put videos about art and the other videos like the Garden Philosophy series I was starting, when I do that, that actually makes it worse. 
it just makes my channel and i saw that in the graphs uh, my attempt was to see i did this as, actually as an experiment i wanted to expand my type of videos to see what would happen and produce videos that frankly were shorter to that would take less time for me to produce and i suppose well i wouldn't say that the garden philosophy has less content no because i think that has more content but it, it's not edited in a easily digestible way i suppose or it's not what the majority of people are looking for or perhaps my titles are not as clickbait as they could have been I just don't like to play this game. I just want to do thoughtful programming that hopefully people actually enjoy watching. And I noticed that that wasn't the case with these videos. I saw a huge drop in the graph for the months of after April, basically. And that, that was absolutely contrary to the trends I had for three years. And that's the thing. I've been doing this for four years almost, since 2013. And I've seen the natural graphs. Obviously, there is an increase in vid in views during spring up until midsummer, and then there is a drop until it picks up late late winter. That's natural. But I saw that when it was supposed to be the highest, the time where people watched the most, which is around May June, I had a dip, a huge dip, and I was putting out more videos as an experiment. And the thing is, I've continued to put out. The garden videos which have the more popular format i suppose and it's what people respond best to i've noticed that perhaps recipe videos are not actually watched even though a lot of people comment when i do a gardening video that does not have a recipe by or with it next to it they they complain because they want to see the the recipe although i see in graphs that people actually don't watch the recipe as much and I don't know if it's the demographic of my audience. I don't know. Tell me in the comments which, what are your thoughts on all of this. I'm, I'm open to hear um, reactions, response, your feelings. And recipe videos don't garner as much views. Um, so basically gardening videos, especially the ones with clickbait titles, which I absolutely do not like to do and I've done them as an experiment and they work so unfortunately it's a strategy to use I'm just at a loss I I seriously feel like not just stopping the whole thing because there's a lot of people doing gardening videos the content is gonna be out there so while I try to bring out a certain quality and a certain specific tone to the, the videos I produce I'm not necessarily giving out super new information with some exceptions I suppose but if I stop making videos garden gardens and gardeners will still continue doing YouTube videos and people are still gonna learn and perhaps get inspired so I'm not indispensable. I know that. It's pretentious to think so. But I feel like from the comments that there is, there are people who appreciate it and they get really excited when they find my channel because of its differential. And I don't want to stop that. So, but at the same time, if I put out a video and I get the same amount of response and it usually happens only in the first week or so and then it completely drops as I did when I had 2,000 subscribers, 3,000 subscribers. What's the point of continue to doing that? It feels like I'm just feeding a huge machine that care less about quality. It just wants quantity to keep people entertained and hypnotized. And I don't want to be part of that. I want thoughtful conversation. That's the one thing. When I did the garden philosophy, I loved to do those videos. But I felt there was a huge decline in viewership from the first one to the fourth one. I still have one and I might actually release it. I've done it months ago and I stopped releasing it because it was sinking the channel. I might release it just because. And I actually like what it's talking about. So I don't know.
when you don't see a clear purpose to what you're doing, it's hard to keep doing it. And that's the case. My, my goal was to create a nice community of gardeners who wanted or felt like inspirational videos would help them continue gardening. And one of the biggest ironies is that the years I produced the most content, I ended up gardening less because of the amount of time it, it takes to film and edit and produce and all those things. So I almost neglected my garden a bit. And this year, I kind of stopped it. I was only editing a few. I actually have tons of material I have not edited yet, which I had filmed previously. So I stopped and was just editing a few materials I had already filmed. And I just took time to garden and I rediscovered garden. And I don't want to... I don't want gardening to lose its flavor to me. I don't want gardening to become a chore as it, ha as it was becoming because of... Look, <laughs> there's a rabbit here. Yep. Yeah. Small little rabbit there. I don't want gardening to lose its flavor, to lose its purpose. I want it to be what it always was to me, which is a, a place to reflect, a place to, to be one with nature and to seek health. So I don't want that to go away and I feel that and I feel like if I put a lot of my effort into making videos and yet the results, they just seem to go down, not even stable, they start to drain away, I lose, I lose any purpose as to why I should continue. I want to keep doing that, but I've noticed that I should completely stop with the art videos. They are sinking my channel. I only get a small fraction of views, which is natural because I felt that it's a different audience and I was trying to bring a new audience into, into this, to even share gardening with them. But the thing is, YouTube doesn't work that way. It only wants you to put videos that your current audience wants and that funnels your creativity more and more to a certain type of demographic. I don't want to be that. I want a variety channel. That's what I wanted. That's why I didn't start an art channel. And I, if I want to keep doing art, I might have to. Might have to start a different channel. Although starting from zero at this point, I'm just. I don't see a future in YouTube. That's it. And it's not just me saying this. This everyone's saying that. Even huge channels are complaining. So, well. Leave your comment, your reaction, what do you think? I'm still going to put out gardening videos because those are the ones, the only ones that actually show in, in the graphs that they grow and they reach new people. The other ones, they die out and that's it. Nobody ever watches them ever again. So I might just do that. But I won't be able to do it as frequently as I could. And of course, if I had a, a positive response, I would do more because I would feel like I'm doing something. I might, I might as well just go plant tomatoes and zinnias because at least I'll get tomatoes and zinnias unless a disease gets to them. But anyways, I digress. Thank you for watching. And I know that you who are watching are probably the one who have watched most of the videos and I really appreciate that and I don't want to lose that because I feel like it's a growing community of the type of people I like to interact with so that's priceless anyways thank you for watching <laughs> hopefully this made made sense and there's the rabbit there <laughs> I don't know if I can film it it's probably wanting to eat all the tomatoes and I mean the lettuce that I have planted here